Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So, we've moved in sort of into our new place. I've taken some of the old stuff in here. Um, I forgot, I broke these and then I realized I broke all these and then they turn into uh, one brick each. So that was kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, I really don't want to use the other world anyways eventually, so my goal is to move to here. So that, that was uh, okay. So, um... Basically, the setup here, you can do whatever you want here. Let's take some cobblestone, for example. And it's only, it should be two chests, honestly. It's probably not the best setup here. It's just one chest right now. Um, but the idea of this, anyways, is that you can just do something like this. And then you can take, say, cobblestone. I guess we should go to our table here and go cobblestone. And then turn this into cobblestone, for example. And you can just do it all in one if you want, whatever. And they should evenly pour, which I noticed kind of somewhat decent. I tried it with this one here and actually made some of this low-grade charcoal, which we can throw here. And then I'm using uh, Draconic Evolution. Uh, I believe it's their placement. Yeah, it says actually right there with the P if it's uh, working for you, key usually. Just to uh, keep this somewhat organized. So, yeah. And then uh, over here we have the saw that we never bothered using. The alchemy condenser, which we've used. Um, I went out and made some stone drums. So uh, stone drums, I actually, that was something I made on my own first time. Stone drums hold like, I think maybe like 32 buckets. I don't even know if it was that many, honestly. But uh, it's just cobblestone or, yeah, cobblestone and slabs. You can even use cobblestone slabs and a bowl and that's it for the stone drum. Um, we got a steel drum as a quest reward, didn't we? But I don't even think I got, um, I don't think I could even make one, so I'm kind of confused. Uh, but yeah, if you hold shift, no, it's not even showing you. Oh, there you go, 16 buckets worth. So it's it's worth it, I guess, for that kind of thing. And I just got it for this, literally. So you hit F on this, you take this, and you just plug it in there when you need it. There you go, you hit P on here, and then you hit F, and then P. There you go. This is our automated method, so I actually have the iron put in here. Now, I forget which iron can actually smelt in here, so you're going to have to put it in first because you'll just kind of screw it up. Okay, that is the correct one. So you put this in here, and it'll automatically do this, and it'll automatically do everything for you. So that's the key here. So we can get, take the magnetite, dump it in there, and it'll over time process it into ingots, which will go over here. We overdid this with uh, iron blocks which we need some iron blocks, if you remember, for the table we're going to look into. And then after that, I think that's about it. Nothing special there. Oh, and the timer block, we can make that in a f soon, but it was actually made by... Um, it was given to us as a quest reward, right? Uh, but we don't have any redstone yet, so we can't do that. Oh, and the bucket. Yes, the bucket. So the bucket I made... And I'll, I'll make another one because, hell, I'll need more anyways, and why not? So I can show you properly. So you get a stick, and you go over here, and let's see. Let's go over here, and you take your stick, you put it here, and you take your iron here, and you get a hammer. And now I'd rather use the one we already have used, which is apparently already out here. I should set some uh, stuff out here in our base so I don't have to run back and forth, but whatever. It is what it is. So with your hammer, you can take it. Sorry, let's use the one that has durability loss. And you can hammer this. So one, two, three. And then you can take your hammer again and make them into iron plates. And then iron plates themselves. So I think, actually I forget how the bucket goes. I think it's like, is it hammer base for the iron? Yeah, there you go. And there you go. That's how I made the bucket. So short and sweet, simple, and anyone can do that. So that's how you do it right now anyways. And uh, we can put the hammer there. And we'll put this one lower just to know that's the good one. And yeah, so pretty cool. And I'm really happy about that. So we're still eating our food. I'm going to have to fill this up soon. We're halfway through it. Uh, so I haven't done any mining. I haven't done anything. Basically, it was just mostly get this up and running just so I had a, a nicer base that was in the overworld. And this is kind of like the theme. It's just black cobblestone from the um, transmutation table, white cobblestone, and then I used stoneless slabs on the roof that prevents mobs from spawning, period. And then I even have uh, little stairs up here. 
Okay, so yeah. It works anyways, my friends. It definitely works. So uh, yeah, we were looking at, let's see quests here. I got something available. I don't know what this is about. This might be some other plant I got recently. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't even think they really bother checkmarking that stuff. But they do have check marks on this, so I didn't realize that. Claim and submit. Oh, okay. I guess you get them all. Oh, no, it says tasks, so you have to get them. Okay, never mind. Um, I don't know which one. Oh, yeah. Mana. Oh. Black Lotus. I don't know why we didn't get that before, but there it is. I think you can put that in a mana pool or something later there and get some more mana. We got that down on the last episode, so that's not really special. Uh, you got the wooden chest upgrade here. Um, we're not going to bother with that right now. Well, we already did that. There's the bronze version, of course. Uh, so I think right now we're just going to go to the Tinker stuff. So Tinkers and Tool um, Table, I believe? No. Tool forge, okay. Forge, and then you can forge. You can type iron just to... <laughs> there's, there's multiple iron ones, so... Yeah, you're going to have to share. And so we're going to take the one we made last time, which we used with that little... Uh, the daisy or whatever from Batania um, to make it. But anyways, uh, so we'll take that, and then we're going to need some seared bricks, which we're going to make stuff like that, but we'll, we'll just make fresh three here. And one, two, three. Excellent. And then that's it, I think. So uh, if this works, this will make us a tool forge. And there you go. And you even got a little uh, achievement for that. So that's awesome. So let's hunt that down. Excellent. And uh, it's, it's rewarding us. There we go. So you get an iron, iron large plate, which is great. Now, this might be a good time to turn off the automation on this. Uh... I'll just kill this. Why not? Um, see, sometimes, you know, this is a messy setup. I don't actually know if this can take a redstone signal, to be honest. But uh, for now, we're just going to kill it. And let this burn through and smelt it. And turn that off. Okay, so what we should probably look into is what we can make with this. Let's put it over here. So this guy kind of gives you a lot of options. Clearly, it wants us to make a hammerhead anyways. So let's start with iron. Iron is the basic material that we have now anyways. So I think iron would make sense. But we're going to need to get uh, more uh, gold uh, going here because we're going to need gold itself. So the way to get gold here would be, I guess, actually, to be honest, start this again like this and uh, get the gold flowing. But this time, we're not going to put anything there. We're going to let it do the patterns, and then we can chisel it up, right? So, uh, Oh, that could be a problem. And why aren't, isn't the gold going through there? Oh, you never put gold in there. That might be why. I wanted to go through the, uh, the ingots first for the iron, and then we'll, uh, we'll clear this up here. There you go. There you go. And we'll make those into patterns. And we'll, we'll let it make a bunch of them. Or I don't know if it'll be a lot. But hey, give that back. That's not for you. And the, the hopper underneath automatically puts it in there. So you'll see the hoppers will... Or the, the thing will get in there and do its special stuff. Okay. So while those are going in there, we're going to need some uh, plates here. Special plates. So I guess one of them we want is going to be, I'll just do one at a time, please. Um, we're going to have to do another plate of these, so that's fine. We're going to need to do the head itself, which is hammer cast chair. And then we're going to have to do the reinforce, whatever you call it. Uh, it's not really reinforced. This is the heavy pole thingy mabopper. Tool rod cast, but not the one tough tool rod cast. And there you go. And uh, yeah, so for this, I guess the only really good way you can do this without, you know, a hopper that you can open it up is you're just going to have to break it open, I guess. And uh, let that finish pouring. You can take these ones out if you don't want it to do that. Um, there we go. We'll have that going in there. And I guess this one first is we'll do that. And I'll take three. And I hope it'll pour in there. I should have checked. Certain materials won't pour in these. Keep that in mind. I think these should work, but I know Greg Tech requires like creating certain things. So honestly, this might not just work. There, there's a big truth to that. So 
Uh, you can do large iron plate. Sorry. And uh, let's see here. It shows this one. Uh, yeah, so it shows the extruder powder in here. Wow. Holy crap. Well, that's insane. Um, hammer head. I don't think you can actually do this, actually, now I'm thinking at it. We'll try it, because why not? Oh, it's not even pouring. Yeah, you can't do this. This uh, this wouldn't actually work, so no matter what, we can't make these. Let's see if we can at least do the head. No. Okay. So, I had a feeling that might not work, but uh, we can say for certain it will not work. So, uh, basically, you're only going to be able to do probably the small basic tools. So, let's see. Uh, iron pick. And let's see if we can do the iron pick head this way. It's showing the extruder lathe kind of stuff. So, yeah, it looks like this might not... Oh, no, 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 sorry. Which one was that? Oh, iron pick head. That's a special Greg Tech one. No, here you go. It's showing the uh, the molten thing here. So, yes, we can do this one. So, well, the good news is you can still use the same parts even if you want and just chisel them. So, we're going to do the iron pick head. We're going to do binding. We're going to do the tool rod. And then we're going to do... The pick head wherever you are. Uh, there you go. And uh, we'll use this instead. There you go. And we'll pour that. There you go. We should have been melting more in here. But I was like, eh. Kind of freezing things up. There you go. So we'll we'll do uh, the the other pieces in there as well. So the this can't require two. This requires one. And that requires one. So we can actually get uh, one more done. And then we're going to have to wait, unfortunately, for the iron to melt. Because I was, I was naughty. I was taking my time. But there you go. So this is how they're doing um, tinkers in this pack. You know, normally tinkers, you'd make your big tinkers thing. And no, you don't do that in this pack. So uh, it's a very unique way. This is just this little setup here, basically, from what I can tell. Uh, unless you do something different later, I don't know. But uh, it does definitely sound like you do the... It's the sort of the more tedious but more interesting, in my opinion. I don't see see it as a bad thing at all. So there you go, and there you go, and then we can go here, and we can put these two together, and there you go. So you got modifier three right off the bat. So we can add stuff into here. Awesome. Got even an achievement for that. Even more awesome. Screw this. You're going in there. And gold. I'll need gold later. So, oh, crap. We almost did bad there. I guess it doesn't matter because we're not doing that yet. Where did my other thing go? Oh, well. Let's get another ingot cast. There you go. <laughs> And we'll turn this back on. And if you want to know a little secret here, uh, you can probably put those back in. Um, but the secret here, what was my secret going to be? Oh, this thing. So you can actually get take this back and get full. Oh, actually, I don't think you can anymore. Never mind. Somebody said you get full EMV value, but I don't think you do. Let's see. 15, 15. You know what? I don't know. Oh, wait. 13. Yeah, so I don't think you actually do. Somebody said something like that, but I don't know if it was bugged or just visually wrong because it doesn't actually work that way. So I heard, I think somebody on this server said it, but pff, maybe I'm crazy. Uh, so I'll make the other tools later on. Basically, it's the same thing. I'm going to just do, you know, the pickaxe. I'll do the shovel. I might do the hatchet, you know, might do a sword or something later. But that's basic, uh, you know, tinker stuff. I'm not going to bore you guys too much on that. So if we go back to quests, I think we're basically done that little section. It wasn't really much of a section. Marble can be found at ancient temples, but be careful. They are old and the marble crumble without uh, light touch. Fortunately, there may be ways of restoring crumbled marble. So um, I don't know what that quite means. So marble and marble brick. Um, I guess we'll see. It might just be for fun. Uh, you get the different marbles, and so you'll find these underground eventually, these types. And uh, so, yeah, basically the plants we, we already talked about, and then the scanner modules, uh, which we couldn't really do anything about those because they were... Um, oh, actually, this one takes a block of uh, 
use on the blocks to configure the module. So actually, this one, oddly enough, we can do this. Uh, we can definitely do that. And uh, the scanner module, I know it was that, that, and that. So if we can remember, it was like this. And then that one of these iron blocks, which hell, you know what? We got the iron block here. And then the scanner module itself, which we pull out of here. And there you go. And I think we might need to flip it maybe. Nope. Unless, uh... Not canner scanner acorn. I don't know what I just said there or tried to do. This looks right, doesn't it? Is there water? No. Nope. I think I just saw the iron one, so I'm not sure why that ain't working. Oh, well, that's why for that one. But why is it not working now? That I don't know. Let's take it out of there. Oh! I'll be damned. It looks like iron, but it's polyethylene. <laughs> if I recall, polyethylene is not... Um, it ain't uh, something you're going to have right away. So, yeah, interesting. Um, anyways, let's put this chest here. Oops, sorry. Just something we can store random stuff when we need them here. Um, and this is my, yeah, like what I said, the storage for now. Just how I'm doing things. So, yeah, we should be able to at least get rid of this pickaxe now. Let it die. This is my trophy room for now. I mean, we'll probably put more stuff in here, but it's just the way it is. Okay. So let's look at what else we have on the list. So now we have the Tinker stuff. We can do whatever with Tinkers. Uh, there's a compass. Not sure. The world uses biomap. Look for every thousand blocks. Oh, that loops every how many blocks? A couple thousands. Thousand? This doesn't sound... Huh. It sounds kind of small. So iron plate and redstone. We don't have redstone yet because we need to find redstone. Um, so yeah, not quite there yet. Um, warmer biomes can be found. Blah, blah, blah. It's a quest check mark. So... Okay. It's just telling you... Oh, okay. So... It's basically just telling you where to go. So you, this one, you make a compass, which we can't quite. And this one tells you to go there, there, and there. Okay. And uh, spider. Task spider. One of 100. Cave spider. Wow. So these are like killing trophies. I apparently have a zombie one. One of one. Oh, okay. <laughs> they tell you different things about them. Interesting. That is really cool. I like that. Um, yeah, I didn't really plan any, anything else, to be honest. So it looks like mining, more mining. Um, yeah, so bronze stage. Basically, what we need to do is get into the bronze stage eventually, which is where we go over to this area here. And we start with Greg Tech. And I'm not going to go through any of this stuff up here yet. But basically... Um, you start here and this is the first thing you want to start with. So, um, I'm not sure why it has an aluminum hammer there because I don't know how one gets aluminum at a low level iron. So I guess any hammer, it just shows aluminum there. My guess. Yeah. Anyways, you, you get bronze plate and you need brick. So we got a lot of that bronze of course is made from, well here, I'll show you if we can find it. Bronze is made out of copper and tin dust. So I don't know how we're going to do it at low levels, to be honest. Um, I think you have a method here. This is the squeezer. Squeezer, flat and crush by jumping on it. You need redstone or something? No, block of iron, piece of iron, sticks, and wood. Ooh. And this will probably work for anything, really. So sticks in there. And then there was some sort of wood in there. And there was this iron. And then there was even this piece of iron. <laughs> we never used it, so we have a use for it now. And uh, let's see here. Probably should have hit A on it. I think it was squee. There you go. Oops, don't go crazy, Kane. Ah, 
Okay, there you go. Ah, here you go. Squeezer. There's even a quest for it somewhere. Oh, here you go. Oh. Oh! It even shows you the bronze stuff here. It looks like copper, bronze, powder up. Okay, now we're talking. Oh! Redstone! Wow, well, that just opened some uh, uh, cool stuff. So I guess here, um, we don't really have what we want here. I mean, you don't really want to do it with iron. I mean, we can for the sake of testing. But uh, here we have a piece of gold. So you can put the gold in here. And basically, you just jump up and down. I don't know. Oh, I see. There you go. But you need to reset it. So I don't know if gold will melt in here. Apparently, it will. So that's good. Um, but to reset it, you need a redstone switch. So then you get a piece of cobblestone. Oops. And then, yes, yeah, so you get your cobblestone, your stick to make your lever. Sometimes the uh, mouse tweaks kind of a little gone crazy. There you go. And then you would just do it again. You hop it on there. It'll hop even with nothing in there. <laughs> And I guess you can look at the squeezer, and you can see it actually does a few things. So this thing can actually had a tank on it, so that's cool. So you can actually squeeze things like your water and stuff. I wouldn't jump for any of that, but uh, it might have some uses that might be worthwhile later on. So it's a, a miniature squeezer anyway. It's actually the gravel is, it gives you 100% gravel plus 50% chance. Right now we spend three gravel for one flint. That being said, I'll probably still do my way, but... You know, you're getting the idea. It can have some uses out of it. So let's go check here. So this is powering up. So tin, copper, and then bronze you're making. So this is later on. I have to find that, which that will be off camera. And uh, what over here? Uh, primitive blast furnace. Interesting. Oh, uh, iron rod. Eh. You could probably do this without tech, but at the same time, I just don't feel like we're quite there yet. You can do this with iron and stuff, I'm assuming. Interesting. And, uh, sorry, I wanted to go back to there. Let's go back. There you go. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the fire bricks are made out of fire, compressed fire clay. Oh, it looks like you might need to make it in the compressor. It looks like that's probably the only way you're going to get the, the, the things yet. The only way to get that is that. So, yeah. So, it is definitely when you have machines. This is probably to make your first steel, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Definitely probably the steel time. So, you can make brick dust. Brick dust is made from mortar. That's fine. Clay dust is made from mortar as well, if you like. Or, you know, other machines. But it does look like the fire clay itself. Let's see. Compressor. Yeah. It looks like the only way... Seems to be that way. At least that's what it's showing here. I mean, there could be another way, but uh, I don't know if it says that part when you take blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. What other cool stuff is over here? That's kind of useful anyway. So you got iron. You got ruby ore. Uh, learning your multiplication table. So crushed iron. Your iron hammer, which we've already kind of made, but whatever. Basic macerator, so this is LV stage, so I guess some of this is a bit, you know, it kind of kind of seems like they go all around the place now, in a sense, so I feel like a lot of random quests is just, you're gonna just going to get it just by sheer luck. <laughs> okay, uh, what about the compass one for fun? Let's go compass, since there was a compass anyways, and we can make a compass now, and we got redstone as a reward. Hey, that's that's awesome. That's how we do it. So let's go here and uh, let's start with this. And we'll go one, two, three, four. And then we'll put this here. And we'll put the redstone here. One, two, three, four. And you got the compass. And yeah, compass is boring. Um, it literally shows you northeast, southwest. Same with the map that comes with it, but whatever. There might be a nature compass. Yep, there is. Nature compass requires uh, min mineral resin, which sounds kind of cool. Squeezer doing their wood. Okay, so that's not too hard. It requires... I don't know how to make the mystical stuff yet. Mana, again, and use shears. And then you use this dust, which we've made a bunch already. I should get some more. 
And you just take flowers, basically, anything red, and you can get the mystical petals. So basically anything right now. Now, I don't know how to get the Batania flowers. I don't think I've seen them in the world. So, oh, Pure Daisy you can use for that. Well, we know how to get Pure Daisy anyway. So, um, oh, it looks like it uses everything. Never mind. I saw Batania flowers at first. And then this can get you a nature compass, and you can literally tell it what biome you're looking for exactly, and it'll take you to that biome. So there you go that's that's pretty cool um so where was that that was over here and so we know how this works so basically north is cold uh warmth is south uh i'm surprised this changes but found traversing west apparently drier climates are west and wetter biomes are found traveling east and uh yeah so it's just a check mark there's nothing special there so we'll just check it off and there you go. Which that'll probably uh, put us up a little further too. We'll be at like Benner's League now here. Probably not. But uh, let's see. Leaderboard. Progress. We're at 12%. So not bad. Benner's up the lead. I'm surprised. I'm really proud of him actually. I hope Benner sees this. And, like, I, Benner is not usually normally like taking charge in this sense. So it's kind of neat to see that. But once again, it's a small server. It's basically, you know, like I said, it's only some friends. So... Um, yeah, that's how it is right now. Minor stew. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. Always edible. I feel like I don't want to use that. It's just too cool looking. Okay. And yeah, so besides that, I mean, you know, there's little things here and there I can do. Um, but I'm pretty happy and content with what we've done today. That's for sure. Um, oh yeah, that was the, uh, stuff there. So basically most of this stuff here I'll find on my own. I'll just do, you know, an episode where I mine. I'll probably show them on the map for you guys where I've gone, things like that. But yeah, we'll get a lot of this on the mining and then I'm going to just fill up chests and uh, I actually had a thing here. It's not there anymore, but uh, you know, I had the one material here. Or at least I thought I did. Maybe I never actually put it there, but uh oh well. Uh, I was going to put like something like this here. I don't know if it actually says the word magnetite, does it? Yes, it says magnetite ore. Okay, so, you know, like this, for example. Or what you could do is put iron in there, but at the same time, it's a magnetite vein. So I'm kind of, like, labeling them based on the veins they are. But uh, either way, yeah, so I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will be continuing next time. I have no clue what we'll be up to. I feel like, you know, if we get bronze and stuff in time, like tin and copper, I might start working on that. Keep in mind, I probably will work on some of that, like the squeezing and stuff uh, off camera a bit, just because I don't want us to be sitting there for the entire episode making bronze. You're probably going to want to make a lot of it, right? So um, I'm going to go and grab some mana uh, juice in the iron one, wherever it is. So we have lots of it um, for later. And then, yeah. We'll just keep going from there. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.